Hello everyone, it's time for my annual Christmas craft video. Last year I attempted to make a gingerbread house and this year I'm going to make another house or attempt to make another house but this one is made out of chocolate. Yes, this is the Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate House Kit. Build your own house, I'm assuming it comes with everything you need to build your own chocolate house. So without any further ado, let's open up this bad boy and start building. Okie dokie, well I've got a couple of knives because I think I might need them and a chopping board. So let's have a look inside the kit. I might need a knife to get into the kit actually. Ah, oh, there we are. Let's hope all the bits are intact. Oh, look. Only the crumbliest, flakiest chocolate. Tastes like chocolate never tasted before. Yes, a Cadbury flake. Oh, I, I could just eat that now, but I'm, I haven't had my tea yet, so I won't. So that's a Cadbury's flake. We also get, ooh. Some little white chocolate buttons, some more white chocolate buttons. We get a whole bar of Cadbury Dairy Milk Winter Wonderland chocolate. In fact, we get lots of chocolate. <gasps> Look at all this chocolate. Oh, and a bit of, oh, something there. I think that's a template, we'll need that. We get some regular dairy milk, a big bar, Two big bars of dairy milk and two smaller bars of dairy milk and then two bars of the Winter Wonderland. Now there's no need, you don't have to build this. In fact there's no icing, there's no icing. Oh how ridiculous is that? Now that is false advertising folks. That is false advertising, is it? Oh we've got some instructions. Yes, it shows icing but you have to provide your own and I don't have any. So that's that buggered, isn't it? Pardon my French. So if you don't want to make the house, you can just take all this chocolate and just stuff your face with it because it all comes out the same way, doesn't it? Anyway, we've got the instructions here. Let me read them. Warning. Preparation requires the use of a knife and is not suitable for young children. Adult supervision required. Oh, damn. I have no adult here with me. I've got a, a rather curious looking dashund looking at me from the sofa. She obviously senses that this is food. It's not for you, Daisy. Um, wash your hands before handling the chocolates. Well, I did. I scrubbed and scrubbed my hands downstairs in the makeup room and there, look, no, veil, no nail varnish or anything. Take my rings off, my false clip-on nails, you know, my press-on, beauty miss press-on nails, they're off and I've scrubbed and scrubbed and I'm as clean as a whistle. So there'll be no food poisoning in this house. Using the template as a guide, this is the template, or oh, I can, <laughs> this is gonna turn out bad. <sighs> Using the template as a guide, cut the 110 gram dairy milk bars diagonally with a serrated, oh, serrated. Right, I'll have to go and get a serrated knife. These are for your front and back walls. Right, I'll just pause and get myself a serrated knife. Okie dokie, right, I'm back. Let's uh, get the chopping board. I assume I'll need a chopping board. I don't want to be cutting directly onto this glass table and I found myself a small sabatier no less serrated knife okay so what do we need we want the 110 gram bars these could be them I'm not sure no they're 180 gram ah so the 110 gram dairy milk bars must be these these are the 110 and you need to use a template. There's, I think there's going to be some spare chocolate left over. I have to resist eating the spare chocolate. So we need to take both of these 
Now be careful not to break the chocolate. Hopefully it isn't broken. And don't use this when you've had the chocolate in the fridge. I like to have chocolate in the fridge. That's how I prefer my chocolate, nice and hard. But obviously for building your house kit, you want it at room temperature. So is it best to put it on this side? Hmm. Well, judging by the little picture, they do show it with the segments uppermost. So let's hope my Sabatier knife will suffice for the two cuts I've got to make. It's going to cause a little bit of... Yes, there we go. Um, I, I'm not going to, I'm going to resist eating that. It might be needed for some internal structure. Oh, I've made the right balls up of that. Not going well at all. Perhaps, I don't, oh, I, I think I prefer to use, I'm going to use um, a non serrated knife actually, folks. I'm going to try this knife, see if that's better. I might get a cleaner cut. Oh yes, I can, t <laughs> well, yes, I have got a cleaner cut, but it was a bit, I'll, I'll eat those bits. Ugh, it's not the same as it used to be. Mm, yeah, yucko. Of course, that's what happens when a good old British company gets bought up by a huge foreign conglomerate who's just in it to make money. They have no interest in the history of the brand. They just make it cheaper. And then we don't have the, um, the chocolates we remember as kids. Have you tasted Quality Street, folks, recently? It is disgusting. Disgusting. Quality Street isn't made by Cadbury, it's, uh, or is it? No. Well, it used to be Roundtree. It's Nestle now, I believe. I'm going, to, I'm going to use this knife again. And sort of, you do need a bit of force, but I think I'm going to get a cleaner cut. Yes, it is a much cleaner cut. Take no notice, don't use serrated. Use like a chef's knife. And you get a cleaner cut. And then we do this one. Oh dear, right. All right, so that's all rubbish. So, <laughs> yes, we've got <laughs> two side pieces. So that's that part of assembly. We'll just pop those to one side. Oh, crikey, I've, I've remembered. I think I'm going to need to use these actually. Good job I haven't eaten them. Because I think there's a stage where I'm going to have to melt some chocolate. Okay. Oh, it's now. I've got to break off the dairy milk offcuts into a microwave safe bowl. Pop the bowl into microwave and melt the chocolate slowly and carefully. Start with 20 second bursts and reduce the time as the chocolate melts. Stir the melted chocolate well between bursts. Here's my melted chocolate. I found this in the bathroom. It said it was a menstrual moon cup, whatever that is. But I thought, oh, that'd be ideal for putting the chocolate in and melting it in the microwave. And as you can see, we've got melted chocolate. So I better hurry up because we don't want that to start to harden. OK, what's the instructions now? Spread melted chocolate along the shorter inside edge of a 180 gram dairy milk bar and press together at a right angle with the long side of the wall you made in step one, creating an L shape. It's a good job this picture's because I'm flummoxed. Like a 180 gram bar, is that the big bar? That's the big bar, so get that open. I don't know if you can hear outside, it is blowing a gale. It's blowing a gale, torrential rain, not very apt for a Christmas video. It would be nice if it was snowing, but no, this is, this is Britain. So it's, uh, it's awful outside. So there's nothing better to do when it's terrible weather outside than to make your own dairy milk chocolate house. So this is going to form a one of the walls and um, this is going to be stuck on here. So I think we need to put a bit of melted chocolate there. So I've got a, a normal sort of knife. I'm just going to 
pop it along. You see, with a gingerbread house, you'd use icing to glue the bits together. I hope this is going to stay glued. Right, let's let's be quick now because I think we don't want to leave it too long. Right, let's try and get this correct. I think it's going to go on like this. Try and sort of smooth it out a bit. Now I've probably made it worse. Watch that moon cup. We don't want that falling over. Right, that seems. I have to try and turn it to the camera. I think that's correct. Okay, so hopefully that's going to start hardening pretty quickly. And then we need to repeat step five to make the opposite L shape. Right, so we need to get the other gable end. Carefully turn the chocolate around. And that's going to go that way. So again, we need to pop some of the melted chocolate. Right, I keep, I, okay. Right, it's firming up. We've got the gable ends and one of the walls. Now what do we do? Well, now I think what we've got to do is we could put some melted chocolate on the sides here and then pop that like that, I suppose. That's what I'll do. So this is probably going to ooze everywhere. But um, never mind, I'm sure it'll taste just as awful. So you don't want to be going on the roof parts, on the just on the side bits, I think. Okay, if you can, can you see that? So again, with the brickwork outermost, we're going to position this on the top, and I can see it oozing already. We'll get the walls. We don't want this to be a barrett build, so we do want the gable ends to be true. It is oozing, I thought it might. So I'll just get the knife and, oops, that's gone everywhere. Just try and sort of tidy it up a bit. Fill in any little gaps. If your husband or significant other or wife, we, you know, I'm sure there are lady bricklayers, but if you know a bricklayer, you could get them to do the rendering part for you. Uh, I've, I've completely balled that up. Maybe a wet finger would help, but I don't really want to, to put my finger on this. I'm sure it'll be fine. There we go. It's all coming together. Look at that, folks. Look at that. Oh dear, this might not end up to be a disaster. Well, I am very disappointed that this house doesn't come with the icing. Unless... No, somebody's nicked it. I don't, no, there's nothing else in the box. You have to supply your own icing, which is a little bit dishonest of Canterbury for showing icing around the windows. So here's one, and you can see, look, we've got the Christmas trees, and that is going to go, hopefully, oh, oh, what's gone wrong here? <laughs> no. Oh, do you know what I've done? Are you stupid? <laughs> oh. oh, it was going so well. It was going well, wasn't it? Oh, it's coming apart anyway. Oh, flip. Oh, shite. Can you see what I've done, folks? Look, there's great big gaps. I've stuck the chocolate to the wrong part. I've, oh, you stupid. <laughs> right, let's try and rectify this. It's it's not it's not firmed up yet. So, um, right. What I'm going to have to do? Good. Right. Um, oh heck! It's not. It's going to all come. It's all. <sighs> oh Roger. Ah. Oh. And I was, I was doing so well. I was doing so well. I hope you haven't been following along with me. Because if you have been, you'll know, you'll know now not to follow me because I'm an idiot. Maybe just, just easier, really. Just take everything out of the box and eat it, you know. All comes out the same way, doesn't it? 
Um, right, try and remember what to do, Rog. Yeah, you've made the right balls up. No, getting confused. Oh, I want the Cadbury up the right way. I want the Cadbury to be, I didn't even look at the Cadbury. Oh, I'm getting all covered in, in muck. Um, oh, flipping heck. Oh, I could do with a cloth. Doesn't worry, I, there may be a little bit of my spittle on this, but I suspect I'll be the only one eating it. Right. <laughs> That is the way it goes, I think. That's good, I can sort of strengthen it a bit. Right, okay. Put the chocolate on that side. Do, am, I, am I doing this correctly? Do you know, I think I'm doing it wrong again. No, no I'm not. Or am I? <laughs> Probably, who cares? Honestly, folks, I was I didn't do this on purpose. I wanted to make a good job of it for once. I really did. I wanted to show my viewer that I'm not a complete ignoramus, but clearly I am. I'm not really a crafty person. Crafty as in liking to make things. I mean, I'm not crafty in that other way either. I've, I've just been very mediocre at making things. Um, yeah, right. I'm good at building IKEA furniture, I'll say that. Right, is that correct? Probably not. <laughs> it's getting all confused. Right, so the cabri is that way up. So that's the way up it goes. Goes on the inside. Yes, I think. Right, so, okay. Should have read the instructions a bit better. At least there's lots of chocolate and it's still spreadable. I think it goes along that side, I think. Who knows now? I just don't really know. And then get some more chocolate. Oh dear me, I don't know. I don't know. This is a disaster. You can't even see what I'm doing. I'm going to get chocolate on my tablecloth. Got to put a bit more on than that. I don't think that's going to be enough to support that. It's a load bearing wall. Right, you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just putting chocolate on the sides, on the ends somehow. Right, with the cabbie that way up, that way up. Okay, I th oh crikey. Is that it? Is that correct now? I don't know. Oops. I'm going to have to, right. Oh dear, now that's not going to work. And I'm going to have to put it upright, I think. Do some, oh, that's hardened pretty quickly. I didn't want it to. You need to do any adjustments. That's a very thin house. They're not going to get much, that's, that's firmed up pretty quick. Right, okay. Just going to wash my hands, folks. We'll get the old, uh, Roof part. I can't. <laughs> what? What? That's even worse. What have I done? What the? What's happened? <laughs> he didn't say to. Do I have to cut? I bet I have to cut. Oh no! I bet I. Oh, you stupid. I bet I have to cut something. Where's the instructions? I, sh I bet I should have cut the wall, shouldn't I? Oh, look. I missed out number two. Remove one row of the chocolate from the shorter side of each of the Mars 180. Oh. Beep. Am I going to do this? Just going to have to... Oh, yeah, typical. That's, that's rock hard now. Oh, right, great, okay. That's still not gonna help. Um, I'm still gonna have to take, oh, I'm gonna have to take the whole. <laughs> you've got to cut, you've got to cut. 
a row. And I bet I've, I've bulls that up, haven't I? You're supposed to save some bits for the chimney and I've, I've, I bet I've bulls it up. Right, put them to one side. Oh, for goodness sake. Yuck. Um, <laughs> I suppose I could edit this and, and make it out that I've done a really good job. In fact, I could buy another kit, couldn't I? And pretend. But no, we, we can't. I'm just, uh, I bet I'm doing this wrong. The chocolate is now hardening in the moon cup. And I'm running out of it. This, is, oh, this can't be asked, folks. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, I'm running out of chocolate, and it's starting to go into a like chocolate spread now, instead of melted chocolate. I've already, I've already lost interest, folks. It was, I, I thought it was going well. Oh. <laughs> Um, I'll just shove it on. I was, I was, I was all, I was, I was going to show people, I was going to say, right, he balls up last year's, um, gingerbread house. So I thought I'll get this. It can't be too difficult. I'll show my viewers that I, I can do something, that chocolate's gonna have to go back in the microwave. Cause it's not, oh. I'm just gonna try, I'm, I'm, I'm carrying on regardless. I'm just going to just oh, do what I can. Don't you dare fall down. Just a, a gust of wind and that's going to fall, I feel. Um, you see, this is, it's it's hardening. Oh. And I've, I've run out of the chocolate now. I'm going to have to melt some more. Right, come on, calm down, calm down. It's just a chocolate dairy milk house kit. It's not the end of the world. What? No, it's all right, I'll edit all that bit out. Yeah. No, I'm gonna edit all this out. I'll just, yeah, I'll, I'll just start again. They'll never know. Yeah. Right, um, let's, let's start, we'll start again. Let's tidy up. Nobody will ever know. Okay, folks, so once you've trimmed the walls, we're ready to assemble the gable ends and for that you'll need melted chocolate which I have here and a clean knife. Okay, yes, okay folks, here's a dairy milk bar, here's the melted chocolate and we'll just put some on the shorter inside edge. That's that's the inside, the inside is the smooth side I'm assuming of the chocolate, like that, there we go and then we take one of the gable ends and sort of stick it on um yes that looks like the box picture well not quite um let's, let's move my moon cup you can't see what's going on it's very hard to show you what i'm doing and to see myself you know i'd be no good on blue peter i'll oh, just knock me baubles on my tree just hold that for a moment i don't know how anthea turner managed right so then that's not going to hold so i'll just, just um uh, i'll put this bit of chocolate up there to reinforce it like scaffolding now that's not going to work is it i'll just hold it and press down a bit yes it might stay and then i'm going to take some more melted chocolate Put it on the inside. There we are, that's it. Plenty of chocolate. 
on the inside edge. That's the way. It's all coming together tickety-boo now, isn't it, folks? And then we take this bit and that goes there. Oh, yes. That's a, a lovely, lovely fit. Okay. Just hold it in place for about 10 minutes. Uh, it's starting to melt where my thumb is. All right, that's not really working but <laughs> um, there we are <sighs> right okay then we take the that's the way there it's oh it's all happening like clockwork i hope your build goes as easily as mine does folks oh, all right then okay <laughs> you dare. Uh, we're just going to prop it up. No, no. There we are. That's it. Okay. There we are. That should be fine. Okay, that's, that's coming together. So now I'm going to leave that for a few moments for the chocolate to harden up. And then we'll assemble the roof. Okay, so the house I think has firmed up pretty well. We've got the walls and the gable ends, as you can see. So now it's time to make this house watertight by adding the roof. And the roof is made up of two bars of the Winter Wonderland chocolate. So I'll just uh, get the other bar open. Now if you've left it too long, you might have to put your moon cup back into the microwave just to soften the chocolate because we're going to need more of the chocolate to attach the roof and we'll just uh, have a look and yes i think i think we've got it this time yeah uh, sort well sort of it's not going to be quite so watertight i don't think i'll just refer to the instructions to make the roof, spread a little of the melted chocolate around the edges of the two Winter Wonderland Edition bars and place onto the house, holding and pressing for a few moments to firm. There will be a small gap. Right, OK. All the way around. Well, I don't know if it's necessary to put it all the way around. I'm not going to do it on the top. I'm going to put some... In fact, I, I think it might be easier. I'm going, I'm going to go a bit rogue. I'm going to put the chocolate... I'm going to spread it here and here. So we'll just do one side first. Now I've, I've made it's a little bit uneven. So hopefully the chocolate will fill the gaps. Now, of course, if you decide to get some icing, you could always fill the gaps with coloured icing. Just to make it completely watertight. This is nothing worse, you know, waking up on Christmas morning and finding a flood of water in your living room, is there? So we're spreading the, the melted chocolate. It's quite, it's quite quickly um, hardens the chocolate, so you might have to be a bit speedy with it. As you can see, plenty of chocolate and if it dribbles down, try and make it dribble down on the inside and then it won't be seen. I think a little bit more here perhaps. Oh, that's, that's plenty. Okay, I think that'll do. And then we take, I'm going to do it this way up. I don't suppose it matters. I think it looks better with the uh, white chocolate. Oh, I've got doodarmy. And then we can place that on there, like so, there is, go there is a bit of a gap, but if I'm careful, I'm going to hold it in place, yes, oh, I, ah, I've, I've closed that gap a bit by pushing in the gable end, there we are, this is how the new home builders will do it, 
you'll know if you've lived in a a new build house and to just try and tidy up okay all right so far so good um and we'll turn it around a bit easier not to turn it around for me to do this but in order for me to show you my masterpiece <clears throat> perhaps <laughs> Um, <laughs> la de dum, we three kings of Orient are bearing gifts. La da 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 da, pumpty tumpty, la de da dum, following you all the star. <laughs> I think I, I just need a little bit more melted chocolate on the edge. De 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 de, la da da. I'm sure this is this is working out exactly how this is this this is exactly how I planned it folks you know I know it, it makes <laughs> I'm making a like balls up of it but this is I'm just following the script you know this the script was written um, nothing was supposed to go correctly it was supposed to fall apart several times and even the crying part is is written down it says in the script cry at this point so you know far from being incompetent I, this is all going exactly as i intended folks all right let's put a little bit more I'm, I'm just doubling up on my render because clearly a house built entirely of chocolate is just not going to really <laughs> stay up is it you do need bricks and mortar but that wouldn't be very tasty would it right okay i'm gonna to have to do this so i can see it and not move it unfortunately i've put double quantity now of oh what's gone wrong with that i'm, I'm moving the gable ends out i'm trying to get now it might be better if you have a plumb line, use a plumb line. See if you've got one in the toolbox, if your husband or father or partner, whoever, see if they have a builder's plumb line in their toolbox that you can borrow, just to ensure your gable ends are true. Because if they're not, then you, you're going to have trouble with the roof. I'm actually resorting now to fingering the, um, do you like my chocolate finger? I'm fingering the, um, the bits. Sometimes, you know, the finger is the only thing. It's the best thing to use. I mean, it's your God given tool, isn't it? Uh, in some cases, I often use a finger when I'm caulking. Um, a wet finger normally. Just to just to soothe out the caulk. So if you're used to caulking, then yeah, that is that is working well actually. Yes, I was a bit squeamish about fingering the melted chocolate, but I can always wash my finger after, and it's helping to smooth it out. It's still got a bit of a rustic feel, but I think a house like this would wouldn't be perfect would it you would have some imperfections it's a it's a very old house um it's a very 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 fine house um there we are i'm sort of you can't see what i'm doing but trust me i am rendering and making good okay well we'll try and move it round uh, very carefully there we are so I've got, I haven't got much chocolate left. Let's hope I can get enough chocolate. Again, it's starting to go a little bit firm. And we can see, yes, uh, so there is a huge, huge gap. Right. You see, I've got two bits of chocolate left, but they are for the chimney. Um, 
So I've, I've really, I've had to use a load of chocolate. I think if you're buying this kit, buy an extra bar of chocolate and just use that for your rendering. Well folks, as luck would have it, I had some dark chocolate chips in my cupboard, so I've melted some of those into my moon cup. So it's, you know, it's going to be a bit of a mix of milk dark and white chocolate, but I don't think it'll matter. So that's melted ready. So hopefully I've left enough time. Yes, I, th I think the house, I think that's going to stay up. I've got to make the chimney somehow now and I, I've got two bits of chocolate left for the chimney and um, I need to cut it somehow. Um, make a diagonal cut across one of the two chunks of chocolate reserved in step two to make the chimney to allow it to follow the slant of the roof. Stick the chimney to the roof slant side down using melted chocolate. What? So I don't understand it. I just don't understand. Um, ah, right. Is that... Trying to look at the picture. Do we have to... I think we have to... We have to cut those in half, right? And then... Oh. Where, where do you put the slant? There's no picture, folks. It doesn't show you where to put the slant. There's no picture. Make a diagonal across, across one. Right, one, one of the chunks make a diagonal cut. Careful, there we are. I have done that. Then what? Oh. Allow it to follow the slant. Well, hang on. What? The, the picture is no use. It's no, it's no use at all. Oh, there's a picture of the, the thing on the roof. Hang on. Oh, I've made the right balls up of that. <laughs> I've done it wrong. <laughs> oh, right, so let's put the flake on. <laughs> the flake is broken as well, I've just noticed. I didn't break it. It is the crumbliest, flakiest milk chocolate in the world. So I'll, I'll take my melted chocolate now and pop it on the roof. See, it's a bit darker. It should still stick everything. Some of it's going to run inside the house. Let's hope nobody's in. They don't want hot chocolate on their heads, do they? So we'll just pop that there. There we go. Oops, spilt a bit on the outside. Never mind. It all adds to the rustic charm of this delightful little chocolate house by Cadbury. There we are. So that's... I, I don't know where I'm supposed to stick the chimney anyway with the flake on the roof, but we'll, we'll try. So there, there, there's that. Take a flake. Oh, that finishes it off. Lovely. Now, obviously, I've got a bit of a bit of a gap. So, oh, which way did that go? Oh no! Oh well, I'll have to try and see what I can do. Well, it it certainly makes the roof watertight. There we go. We've got a bit of a crack in the middle, but never mind. Um, I've no idea what I've done wrong with the chimney. Uh, I think I should have reserved four chunks of chocolate, not two. So, <laughs> um, well, they don't have to have a chimney. We could, we could say this is an all-electric house. So I'm going to have to abandon the chimney, I feel. So we'll just, oh, right. Okay. So the chimney just will not have a chimney. I mean, most new builds don't have a chimney, do they? So... There we go. There's a bit of a gap, but c'est la vie. And I'm going to take the white chocolate buttons. Uh, 
There we go. We've got two packs, I think, have we? Yes, we have two packs of buttons, but don't be complacent. We don't want to eat any. If there's any left over, by all means, eat them. But until we can finish this, I'm not going to risk it. So I'm taking the chocolate, applying it very carefully. There you go, carefully to the back of a button. Like that. Ooh. And then I'm going to start sticking it up. We'll do the gable ends actually first. I've um, got it completely the wrong way around for you to see what I'm doing. So I will, there we go. I'll shovel up, shuffle up, shuffle, no, what do they say? Shuffle up the bus to this side and stick that there and then repeat with three more buttons down one side. Oops, I've made a bit of a mess. There we are, oh dear. Is that correct? I think it's supposed to go up there more. Never mind. And another, yes, that sort of, we've, we've, got, we've got chocolate now on the other side of the button. Oh dearie me. There we are. So you can see it's all coming together. And um, I think you'll agree, it is looking exactly like the box picture. With maybe a few added little flourishes of my own, just to, you know, so it's a totally unique thing now. And yours will look different too, if you buy this kit. I'm sure yours will look a lot different to mine. Oops, a bit too much on there, oh dear. There we go. I've got a bit of a mess. So that's one of the gable ends. And if we turn the house carefully round, we'll discard that one, it's too chocolatey. I've got chocolate on my everything. <laughs> and then we can pop just on the edge of the roof. There we, oh, there we are. Doesn't matter if you, oops a daisy, that's me. That's one of my glass presents behind me gone for a Burton. All right, there we are then. And then you just go along, and this helps to fill in any gaps. Um, I just can't, I'm not, just not bothered anymore folks, you know? But you'll see at the end of the video, I'll give it a final flourish and you'll see that all my relatively dodgy handiwork will be disguised with some magic fairy dust, so to speak. So apart from the chimney, which I've had to leave out, we've got the most beautiful, I think you'll agree, the most beautiful chocolate house that would grace any dinner table. And of course, if you want yours to look like the picture on the box, you will need to provide your own icing and icing bag. And you can just do some icing on the walls here to make some windows. Otherwise, the people living inside aren't going to be able to see out. And you can also, on one of the gable ends, you can ice a door so the little elves who live in the chocolate house can actually escape. Otherwise, they're going to suffocate inside. And that won't be very good, is it? When you, when you come to eat the, the, the chocolate, when you break into it and start eating it, 
and find a load of suffocated elves inside. That, that wouldn't really make Christmas. But to finish, to give it an extra Christmassy feel, I'm just going to dust the roof with a little bit of icing sugar to simulate a very gentle snowfall. So there you go, as you can see, it was well worth the effort. The dusting of snow makes makes it all come together somehow. It's it's absolutely lovely. I've really enjoyed making this Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate House Kit. It looks almost just like the picture, but of course you do need icing if you want to add those extra touches to make it actually look like a house. So I'm going to give this five out of 10 to Cadbury because it is a bit misleading, this picture here. As you can see, mine doesn't look much like the picture, does it? I assumed foolishly that you would get some little icing tubes with some at least white icing in, so you could actually ice the windows. So bear in mind folks, if you want one of these kits, you will need some coloured icing just to add to it. And if you want, you could put some little jelly sweets on the roof as well. Make your own gingerbread people just to stand next to it. You know, the world's your oyster, the sky's the limit. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to have a stiff gin and uh, place this in an airtight box and have it all ready to present to my family on Christmas Day. Thanks very much. See you all very soon. Bye for now. Oh, thumb me up. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. I need it. I need a big thumb up, please. And um, subscribe if you want to see more superb videos like this one, what I just filmed. Merry Christmas, everyone.